Welcome back to an Ash Design training video. Today I want to show you how to use our new Photoshop image presets. I'm using the full version of Photoshop and we'll walk through exactly what you need to do to add custom effects to your images. This is the colored image that we're going to use today and this is the effect that we're going to end up with and we can do it in just a few minutes even on this video. This is the file that I would have downloaded from Ash Design and you can see it comes with directions right on the front and so you can read through those and I'm also going to step through those right now at the beginning of this video. The very first thing we want to do is set our canvas size. So we're going to go image canvas size and from here we'll enter whatever size that we want to work with. If I want to I can put in an 11 by 14 if that's the desired outcome of my image and I'll click OK and you can see how it changes this and that's that's perfectly normal that's exactly what we want. In this case, I am going to work with an 8x10 today, so I'm just going to change my canvas size back to an 8x10. And then you might get this um, error that says that some clipping will occur, and that's fine. Just click Proceed. And now I'm right back to my 8x10, which is what we're going to work on. Once you have your canvas set, you're going to want to turn off the Directions layer, and you can do that just by clicking the little I right next to it in the Layers palette. Once I turn that off, you can see I just have a plain white document that I'm working with and the next step is to make sure that I have my photo layer selected and you can tell that it is selected by the blue color right here in my layers palette. From here I'm just going to make sure I have my selection tool and then I'm going to go to my image and just drag and drop it over into my canvas and place the image right where I want it. You can see it automatically turned this to black and white because it's already beneath the adjustment layers that came in my template. If I turn off this mid-range adjustment layer, you'll see I have my colored image underneath. And I can turn on and off different adjustment layers for a different look, including adding multiple adjustment layers to get the desired look that I'm going for. In addition to this, in the full version of Photoshop, you can adjust the adjustment layers by double-clicking on the icon in the Layers palette. This opens up the Adjustments palette, and you can make broad stroke adjustments to the entire image using these sliders. So in this case I can take my contrast very high and very low, light and dark. Same with the color spectrums with the blues or the greens. So if you want to make broad range adjustments you can do that in here. I'm going to go ahead and remove those and go back to my layers palette. And the next thing I want to show you is how you can make fine-tune adjustments using these uh, adjustment layers. So in this example, I'm going to turn on all three of my adjustment layers. And I really like the roses in the light adjustment layer, but it really blows out the rest of the image. You can see when I turn that back off how much better that is, but look how beautiful the flowers are with the light. So I'm going to start with the light. I'll select that layer, and you can see it turns blue. And then I'm going to get my paint bucket, and I'm going to make sure that I have my black color selected. And I'm going to paint the entire light adjustment layer black. And you can, can see that I've done that over here in the layers palette. My next step is to paint back out the areas I want in white. So I'm going to change my color to white, and then I'm going to grab a brush. And you can customize your brush, changing the opacity, the size of your brush, uh, the hardness of your brush. So in this case, I want a fairly soft brush. I want it to be pretty big and I'm going to put my opacity somewhere here in the middle. And then I'm just going to paint in these roses and you can see how it brightens them right back up as I paint over those. And then you can see exactly where you've painted in your adjustment layer to kind of get a feel for the work that you've done and see if there are other areas that you want to go back and hit either a second time to increase that or just to further customize that. And then you can continue on going to your other layers. I'll come up to my high contrast layer and then I'll go back to a black brush and paint a few of these areas that are darker to lighten those up. So you can continue to paint any areas on any of these adjustment layers to get the customized effect that you're going for. 
and once you're finished making the customizations, you'll just save your file out as a JPEG and be ready to upload it to your lab.